Hello everybody, welcome to this episode about how to install the high boost signal booster system into the bread truck. We're gonna put it all in today. I have everything laid out, I got my tools out. It's a hot mess, just like usual when I install anything, but we're gonna get this thing hooked up right now and I'm gonna show you a few things like what I'm gonna do. Over here on the bed, we have the signal booster system. I have it just kind of like laid out on the bed. Uh, over here, I have the antenna that's going to be going on the outside of the truck. Uh, it's a, a whip style antenna with a spring on it. Doing, um, So that's going to be going on the ladder rack up top. This is the high boost booster. Um, this is like the brain of the operation. And then we have the indoor antenna that's going to take that signal from outside, bring it into the bread truck and make it a much more usable thing. Right now on my phone, I have like no service at all. I'm in a very poor area because we're in the mountains. We're in like a valley and it's hard to get signal here. So we're gonna see if this high boost system will help boost the poor signal that I have and make it a little bit usable in this uh, pretty challenging area. We come here all the time. This is a good friend of ours and uh, we never have good signal here. Even at the house, there's a lot of issues because it's kind of a low point where there's big mountain range on both sides, like a valley. So that really kills signal. But uh, I'm gonna go outside and we're gonna start mounting this antenna on the outside of the truck. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna be heading outside the bread truck here to install the outdoor antenna. It's gonna be going up here on the roof rack. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so up here on the bread truck, I had a hole here already. This was from some old uh, thing that was here. I used that to route my wire inside. This antenna is gonna be going right up here, mounted just like that. So all I gotta do now is I gotta mark my holes where I'm gonna drill, and I'm gonna mount this antenna to the outside of the truck. So I just have a wood clamp here. I'm just using that to hold the antenna in place so that I can mark the holes and drill them. So now that I've got all my holes marked here, I'm just gonna go ahead and drill them through. So the set came with these U-bolts uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and use those. Even though I'm not mounting them to a mast, this will work for my situation. I'm gonna find a little piece of pipe to put in this area so that it holds nice and firm. There's one. I may need to make these holes a little bit bigger. All right, so what we're looking at here is my ladder rack. This is how I installed it. I used the U-bolts that were included with it. I put a little piece of pipe in here just to make it fit nice and tight because I didn't want this to be all the way down flush. I would have run out of threads on that. And maybe I'll just switch it over to nuts and bolts eventually. But for right now, this fits really nice. It's in there nice and secure. And coming down here, I have the wire running into a hole in the wall. What I'll be doing is I'll be uh, putting some tape down, some like VHB um, tape to make this nice and flat and sit on the truck. And um, then I'll silicone this hole and uh, possibly put in a rubber grommet. But all this stuff I can unscrew, take back out and uh, replace it with the proper grommets and everything. But I might just run a little bit of uh, silicone in there and make my own gasket. But for now, my antenna is installed on my roof rack. It's nice and sturdy. If I hit a tree branch or something, as you can see, it is uh, mounted on a spring so I don't have to worry about it snapping off. I mean, if I hit like a low bridge or something underpass, it's pr still probably gonna break this thing. But for now, I mean, I, I'm, I'm really happy with it. I think this is great. I just gotta tighten down all the screws and nuts on the backside here. I need to uh, tighten these guys down, but uh, yeah. That was pretty simple and straightforward. Here we go. We're going to go start testing the inside of the signal for the bread truck. So this is the headboard and the hole just came out right there in the middle of the headboard. That's like my little cubby hole. So I'm thinking I'll just install the high boost 
right in that little cubby hole. This is where I sleep. It'll be right over uh, where I mostly use the internet, which is in bed at the end of the night. And uh, I think that'll be a pretty convenient place. I also have power outlets where I can plug right into. So I have power here. I'm just gonna start testing the signal for this uh, high boost system. I'm gonna hook up the booster and the indoor antenna and see how everything works out. They say you should do a soft install before you really put everything in solid and permanent because you wanna make sure that everything is laid out in the right place and you can get the best signal. So I'm gonna start hooking these things up and just seeing how well the signal works in the layout that I have right now. All right, so here is our high boost system. This on this side right here, it says outdoor for this connection. This is your power port. And then there's a USB-C here, and I haven't been able to figure out what the USB-C does. I'm guessing it's so you can plug a modem right into that, like a MiFi jetpack, and have direct uh, connection to this booster. And then on this side, there's the indoor antenna hookup. So I'm gonna hook up the outdoor antenna right now. It's a small coax, and you just screw that on. Okay. I have my small jackery right now that I'm gonna use for power. Eventually I'll get it hooked up in a different way, but this was included with the, with the kit. It's a two USB uh, power port for a cigarette adapter. I will plug the USB in here and plug this into the power. Okay, so now we have power. So this is the high boost indoor antenna, and I'm gonna be hooking this up right here to the indoor antenna port. All right, there we go. So everything is now hooked up, and I can start testing to see how the internet signal goes. Now I'm gonna switch over to the high boost signal supervisor app and take a look at how everything is going because this will tell me with the Bluetooth connection between the device and my phone how everything is looking. So uh, we'll load this up and see how it's going. So I can see already that I have a large amount of uh, signal strength increase just by the bars. Bars usually don't mean much, but I have three bars in here right now, which is generally not possible. I usually have zero bars in here, no signal whatsoever. So between two and three bars out of four is really great. All right, so what I wanna to talk to you about is the expectations for the system. I have a very realistic expectation for what this uh, performance is gonna be like once I hooked up this high boost uh, booster. And I've done a little bit of testing now and it's great. I mean, I went from having no signal inside the bread truck here to being able to stream videos. When I do a speed test, I'm talking about like five megabits of download and only one megabit of upload, not even a whole megabit. So we're not talking about going from zero signal to being able to like live stream or do a huge amount of work, but this really helped. It took my signal from being not usable at all to being able to live, uh, to uh, stream video into the bread truck. So just this morning, a friend of ours sent us a text message from the house over there and they sent it at like 7.30 in the morning. We didn't receive it until about 10.30 in the morning. So it took four hours for that signal, for that text message just to come through. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. This is making the signal at least usable, at least it's there. And it's not the greatest thing, but this could also take a signal from not being able to quite live stream to maybe being able to live stream. So I look forward to testing the system all over the country uh, in our travels and see like really how well it does. So far, I'm really impressed and I'm super happy. I think it's awesome. I'd like to experiment with taking out this antenna and plugging in my MiFi jetpack directly into the high boost and kind of see how well that does. I think that would be a really good boost uh, for the MiFi jetpack, but I don't have service on the jetpack right now. And this is actually boosting the signal to my cell phone really well. I'm, I'm able to watch 
uh, streaming video inside the bread truck now. Been watching like Yellowstone. <laughs> so now that I've got my soft install done and I just got it all hooked up temporarily just to see exactly how things are gonna work, now I'm gonna start bolting things in. I'm gonna take this high boost booster and mount it permanently on the wall back there. I'm gonna bundle up all the cables with cable ties and tuck them away so everything's nice and neat and get this installation finalized. One little hack that I'm gonna do here is I took a piece of foil tape. This is like um, ducting foil tape and I covered the LEDs because one thing that I cannot stand is flashing lights. These LEDs can be extremely bright. So I have all of the devices in the entire truck have a little strip of tape over the LEDs. The downside is that you can't really tell if uh, you need to see the alarm codes, but I can always just peel this little piece of tape up and I don't have these flashing lights all over the inside of my bread truck when I'm trying to sleep. I really can't stand that. So yeah, a little van life hack here. Get a little piece of tape and cover your LEDs. All right, folks, that's it. I am done with the installation of the high boost system that is the cell phone booster for the bread truck, I am happy with it. I think it's pretty awesome. I gotta do some long-term testing, get to some different locations, really try it out out in the field. But for now, so far, this is a place where we've always struggled with inter internet signal. The bread truck completely kills any kind of like really weak signal. And that's what we have here. We have very weak, weak signal. And when you're inside this aluminum box truck, the aluminum just really destroys any small signal that from coming in. And uh, now that we have the high boost in, it is bringing the signal inside the truck and I'm able to stream video. I'm able to run speed tests, all that kind of thing, send out messages, uh, get phone calls. It's a vast improvement over what I used to have. So I'm stoked. I'm happy. I can't wait to do some more testing and really see how this thing works out in the field. Uh, I had very realistic expectations and uh, it's performing great. The outside looks really cool too. Um, the small antenna, it's just a uh, spring whip type style antenna and it's only about two and a half, three feet tall. It's not even, it's probably two feet tall. And uh, it just looks great on the outside of the truck and I never have to take it down. I never have to put it up. So that's a huge, huge bonus for the system as well. But um, yeah, I just wanted to thank Highboost for sending me out this product. Turns out I really like it and I highly recommend it. If you would, click the link in the description of this video below and you'll be receiving a discount if you want to get a high boost system for your RV, truck, over the road truck, uh, any kind of conversion, tiny house. If you're in an area that has con uh, very weak signal, this is going to help you out. It really will. So check it out. Take a look at high boost, see what you think, and uh, order up a system for yourself. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video right down the road.